Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. This video, we're gonna be talking about overloading templatized functions. Now, this is gonna be a pretty cool video because this is where we're getting into some pretty juicy stuff. But you first gotta check out our sponsor, which has a very juicy product for you. Embarcadero Rad Studio. Rad Studio is the IDE of choice for C++ development. Quickly build native, mobile, and desktop applications from a single C++ codebase and deploy to Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. With Rad Studio, user interface design has been made easy with hundreds of pre-built components for cross-platform development. You can easily integrate with popular source control management systems, databases, APIs, and you can make your life easier with numerous third-party extensions. Let Rad Studio do the heavy lifting when it comes to C++ development. Give it a go with a free trial by following the link in the description. So this swap function will work for most basic types, but what if we wanted to create a swap function that was a little bit different? For example, if we wanted to swap all of the elements in two arrays. Well, this function here is not going to work. First off, you can't just assign an array to another array. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another version of swap that's also templatized, but this time it's going to be templatized to work with types of arrays rather than just plain types. So we're going to say template, type name T, void swap, and in here it's going to take A and B. Now we don't need to pass by reference because they're arrays and they will decay to pointers so we can automatically alter the elements inside of these arrays. One thing though is I do need to put the square brackets to indicate that these are arrays. Sorry about that. And we'll also need the size of the arrays. So you can use n, you could use size, whatever you want. Now what we're going to do is within a for loop, we're going to swap each element. So we'll say int i equals zero, i is less than size, i plus plus. Now individual elements are going to be swapped. So what type are these going to be? Well, they're actually going to be of type t, because if you think, uh, pretend we have an integer array, this would be an integer, so that would be the same thing. You would also create an integer down here. So the type here does not refer to integer arrays. It just refers to integers, and we're doing a collection of those using an array. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to say t temp and assign that the value a of i, and then we're going to do a of i and assign that the value b of i, and then we're going to do b of i, and assign that the value temp. So that should be it for swapping arrays, but now all we have to do is go through an example to see if it works. First, I'm going to compile, make sure I got all my syntax, and it seems to be good. Now let's go into the main. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the bottom here, and we're going to create two arrays. One will be called nines, and this will be full of nines, which I guess would make sense. And let's say there is um, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And let's do it again, but this time we're going to use ones. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to output these arrays before and after the swap. So let's go through a for loop, int i equals zero, i less than six, i plus plus. And here's what we're going to output. We're going to output nines of i, a space, and then ones of i. Then I'm gonna finish this off with a tab character to separate each group. And then when I'm done, I'm just going to output a couple new lines. Cool, so that is how we will output the arrays. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the swap. We'll pass in nines, ones, and size six. Now passing in this extra argument is essential, otherwise it's going to try to do this version of the swap because it takes two elements, which is not what we want. So if we don't put pass in that six, you'll see what I mean. When we compile, you can see it says int six is not assignable because it's trying to assign an array to another array, which is not allowed. So make sure you remember to pass in that size. And if you would like, you can make that a constant and then use that instead. So totally up to you, just giving you guys some options. There we go. So that should work just the same and you can see it compiles. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this exact same for loop but after the swap. So it's going to look like that. Now let's compile and run. Uh, I forgot to put the backslash for the T, which is making the output all weird. <laughs> let's compile and run again. Now when we run this, the first time we get 91, 91, 91, and so forth. And the second time around, we get 191919. So it seems that the swap worked. And that's really cool because we only have one swap function name, 
but this is going to be two different templatized versions of the swap. So we just overloaded templatized swap functions. Very super cool and exciting. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Let me know if there's any questions, comments, concerns, or um, hmm, your favorite animal. Yeah, that's, that's a question for the day, just for fun. All right, now let's move on to the next video and don't forget to subscribe.